YouTube. In this video, I'm going to review a ROM for OnePlus One. So you go to settings menu. About phone you can find. I'm using the Exodus ROM, which is based on 5.0.2. Here you can see the Exodus version 5.0.2 itself and build date and all everything you can see. This ROM is developed by high professionals, and you can see this is like highly customizable and then maximum optim optimized ROM. Uh, it's very fast battery friendly also and these guys are releasing OTA updates like five or six times in a week and then this ROM also supports uh, the wiper for Android and then Xbox framework and even the multi ROM support so it's like complete pack of ROM and then with uh, the perfection you can see so let's let's uh, look deep into the ROM settings first of all looking at the basic options like dialer this is the dialer app lollipop dialer app stop dialer app and then contacts application messaging application you can see with all the settings tab as well as other options here yeah, cell broadcast and all and if you look at the menu here you can find there there is no bloatware there there is not even a file manager i have to download the file manager from the play store and then uh, these applications are installed exclusively besides that we have only this 13 uh, icons here on the menu so there is no bloatware not even a browser not even a camera so you have to download all those applications exclusively for your needs from the play store you can download or you can even flash the applications so if you look at the settings menu you can see the this is the notification area as, as normal if you click on that one it will open the alarm and all and then if you tap on this battery icon it will show the battery information as well as you can choose the battery saver option and then uh, you can also give the percentage to automatically turn the battery saver mode and then you can also set the warning color style and then by clicking here you can switch between the users and here again you, you can see the toggles and then brightness control here if you click on set them settings here in the first option you can see all the regular options used in almost all the CM based ROMs and then in this section you can see Exodus exclusive settings are here like first of all look at the you know, in interface there is a navigation bar if you need a navigation bar you can turn on that one and you can see the navigation buttons here and you can customize all the aspects of the navigation bar like you can customize the height from here in the real time you can see that and then uh, bar width in landscape if the sc screen is in landscape you can change button long press delay and all and then allow legacy menu keys extra IME buttons and then number of neighbor layouts left hand mode if you tap that one I can use that one also and I can even edit using this editor I can add more buttons here you can see and then tap on that one to do what kind of actions like show for short action for long action and for double tap action and you can even customize the icon from here so you can completely customize all these navigation buttons from here itself it's really cool and if you want to delete just swipe it down so that's so simple so that's about the navigation bar if you turn turn that off settings go settings and then turn that off that's it and then if you go to the notification drawer so this is a notification drawer by default this view cooldown options will be like uh, off then it won't come like that so go and turn it on the right so you can get the pull down options from the right and if you need weather options you can turn it on so you can see the weather details here and then you can also customize all the toggles you can see in the notification area you can add that one add whatever you want so that's about that and there are show four tiles per in a row if I turn it off it will show three tiles I prefer four and then a large first row if I want this first row enlarged I can op opt for that one and then uh, advanced location settings in status bar you can say in the show notification count double tap to sleep so that is a double tap to sleep and then status bar greeting indicator and if I need network traffic I can turn it on the network traffic so it will show the network speed and then I can customize the clock style from here like right center and and you can also customize the battery icons from here I can also add the battery percentage next one is the heads up and notification if you turn it on it will show the heads up notification for 
like this it will come and then for you can add the application and you can also blacklist some applications the next one is power menu I can customize this power menu by tapping this I can choose some panel or not you can see and I can add the profile switcher and all I can customize all these options so that's about the power menu options and the next one is the recent menu so this is the recent menu and if I want to uh, I can customize the place where this uh, clear all recent lock button should come so this is here Def default is here and it's better to be here and if I need a memory bar I can turn it on so you can see the memory bar on top and that's about that and this is the immersive desktop I can set the style whatever style I want and then I can also choose the orientation and then expand it this option so that's about the interface option next one is the hardware so from here action I can repainting I can customize the hardware keys functions almost all that one like even for menu icon there are three events like single press long press and double tap so I can customize for these three hardware buttons I can customize whatever options I want so it's, it's very neat and very highly customizable so it's great and next one is general button options like you can also turn on the navigation bar, button bar from here I can do all the settings from here itself and next one is the gesture shortcuts like in the stock and uh, CM release you can screen on the screen of uh, Turn on the screen of gestures like camera, music, flashlight. I'm not going to use that anyway. And there is an USB fast charge option. And then basic ROM features. Other sensors and motors options, device to wake up, like double tap to wake up, prevent accidental. That's very common in almost all ROMs. And then in the ROM control, I can choose the default launcher from here. And then system app cleaner from here. The, here it's like this ROM comes with its system app cleaner application. I can choose whatever application I want to remove and then click on that delete button. That's it. So it, it will help you to boost your performance, phone performance. And I can choose the LCD density. I can choose the DPI settings from here and host blocker is here so it will help us to block the advertisement malware and dangerous urls and ac linux it's all like experimental feature and here from here i can go to the express update i can check for the updates and i can download it from here and then super ac is there so that's about rom control and from themes you can customize all the aspects of the themes from here and in display option you can see regular options like cast screen live display and all sound notification other sounds and battery apps so let's say app system profile location lock screen and security language and import you can see it supports almost all the language because it's based on cm size and so it supports almost all languages and then data and time accessibility printing option developer options all are here so that's about the settings option so all, all this rom gives a good feeling and uh, this as this rom is developed by professional you can expect better updates OT updates is working and this rom also supports multi rom so you can install multi rom and this ROM also supports the Xbox framework so you can install a hell lot of Xbox framework so that's all about this ROM if you want to know how to install this ROM there is a link in the description to show you how to install this one just go and check it out thanks for watching please subscribe for more